Hi everyone, I started this channel last December and since then I uploaded several videos. And then February 24th came. It's difficult to say anything because this is a matter of life and death and making these videos on YouTube is something quite... Uh, it's an entertainment after all. So for me it's difficult to to make a script for such video, so I'm trying to talk from my heart uh, with no script at all. So uh, let me tell you what I think. So after almost five months of this disastrous war initiated by Vladimir Putin, this mad person, I... <laughs> I would like to reflect on this, uh, on this conflict, what it means for me, for my country and for the world itself. This war was quite surprising for many, for me included, but at the same time it was something that could, could, be, and could, uh, could be seen from the distance <sighs> because all uh, all events uh, eventually led to this um, to this aggression to this bloody aggression uh, Vladimir Putin's uh, dictatorship in Russia is something that uh, made sure that such conflicts were possible and uh, it uh, made it clear on their media, on uh, by the words of their uh, propaganda machine, that it is possible to launch this war in Europe in 23rd century. For myself, I uh, I opposed Putin and his uh, regime uh, all these years the way I could. I took part in um, opposition rallies. I tried to maintain this view that Putin is not forever, that everything may and will be changed. I tried to, uh, to participate in political events, uh, but it's very, it was very scary and at the same time uh, it was very uh, difficult to comprehend that after all these um, attempts to uh, make this regime uh, more fragile, uh, make it less, um, after all the opposition, after all, uh, after all that has been happening, there is still a possibility that uh, it can make this move, this aggressive move, which is not um, what me and many Russians think when they think of uh, the future of our country. Because uh, at the end of the day, such, uh, such conflicts is what we fear the most because it destroys almost everything from trust to simple simple faith in the future many ukrainians today fight for their freedom for their lives for their families and friends here in moscow many Many Russians don't feel the sacrifice Ukrainians make today trying to fight this, this Russian Putin's machine, war machine. And I try to keep it in mind every day because it's, it's important for me to uh, to feel this responsibility, even though I know that I have been opposing this 
uh, regime for all these years, I did my part. I I knew that something something was coming. I still feel this tremendous responsibility uh, for the actions of my country, of my government, which which is not uh, legal in my mind because it wasn't elected in a democratic way, I still see that I bear some responsibility for its actions, for the actions of my society, of my people, which I am a part of. It's a difficult time uh, for me, for all the Russians that uh, see what is going on, what is really going on. I'm not talking this nonsense like Nazis in Ukraine, it's all Putin's propaganda. Unfortunately, it is quite, um, quite effective for many Russians. To be, to be sure, I'm unfortunately, and I am quite sad to say that, but it works very well. Even for, even, it works even on people who know the truth or who, um, who, know how to uh, work with information. It still works and and as for today I don't know how to uh, fight it. Uh, people are brainwashed unfortunately. I realize now that this propaganda machine has been preparing people for this war, this war against humanity itself. Still I see that not only me, of course, not only Russians are responsible and should be held responsible for this war. They should, but they're not the only one. Uh, the Western society, the Western political establishment is responsible as well. For example, not punishing Putin enough for the annexation of Crimea and all the uh, all the crimes he committed in Ukraine uh, in 2014-2015. The West didn't, uh, didn't draw much attention to this conflict and uh, Putin, you may, you may say that Putin got away with it. Like those uh, sanctions uh, imposed by Western uh, countries uh, in the, the 2014 were not enough. All the gas and oil money Putin made, Putin took from uh, uh, deals with Western countries, Western, um, Western companies, this money was directed to strengthen uh, the repressions inside Russia and uh, to uh, prepare for this war machine to launch this war several years after. I need this, uh, I need this video, I need this, uh, I need this talk because I think that without that, without the acknowledgement of this conflict, this, uh, this disastrous, this shocking and heartbreaking event. I mean this war, this, this crime, this crime of all crimes. I think without the acknowledgement of it, I can't uh, fully, I can't fully participate in this media. I can't uh, make videos. And I think I should always be aware that there are people suffering, dying, struggling in their daily routine because of the actions of my country, because of the actions uh, of this, uh, this dictator, Vladimir Putin, who invaded peaceful Ukraine. He, of course, he invaded Russian people and Russia earlier than Ukraine. Many of, many of Russians became slaves, almost slaves, because they have, they had nothing, uh, they have nowhere to go, 
they are uh, they are brainwashed and uh, there is no hope for them <sighs> and I myself I tend to feel sorry for them and I try not to blame them but uh, as I blame myself I sometimes I blame them as well because you always have uh, you always have a choice even though you sometimes feel that you don't have one you still have the problem is you don't you don't see how you can execute this choice how you can uh, choose the right path choose not to support the dictator not support the aggressor not support the people who lie to you every day who threaten the world with nuclear weapons the thing which has never been seen since 1945 i don't know even the caribbean crisis didn't see such <laughs> unspeakable unspeakable rhetoric yes <laughs> you can't threaten the world with nuclear weapon we are not barbaric people we shouldn't be these savages living for nothing i don't know they have no ideology putin has no ideology he's just this this simple stupid dictator uh, you know, living in his palace, in his palace, uh, with his uh, mistress, gymnast. I don't know, he's so stupid and funny at the same time, and, but at the same time he's, he's this monster. So I don't really know uh, how to start thinking about him, because he's, um, he's stupid, funny, and... Uh, Mm, and scary at the same time I think that uh, and I hope that Putin is the last uh, of those Russian dictators who do not um, see the value in humanity in humans in life itself who only see this power this uh, authority uh, the authority seeking this um, this lack of respect for all that for, for all that really matters love life r uh, human rights freedom justice I think that Putin is the last of those in the chain of those and I hope that when this regime collapses and it will very soon I hope we will create new Russia Russia which is based on true values the society in this new Russia this uh, in this amazing Russia of the future will seek freedom justice and dignity Dignity is something which is lacking in, uh, in the contemporary Russia as well. Uh, so, we should walk as well as the world should walk. Uh, we should work on strengthening our processes and our institutions. We should make sure that such dictators like Putin will never appear again on earth unfortunately there are people there are leaders like putin they're not maybe too aggressive for now then they, they may not be that uh, on the nose about their ambitions but they they are still a threat they are still a threat. All the dictators who do not represent their people who act by themselves, they should be stopped one, one way or another. Because unfortunately uh, uh, our global world, which I like and I enjoy, uh, tend to make uh, our system, our global system more fragile to people 
uh, like Putin and other dictators because they can manipulate they can manipulate uh, the processes the global processes for their gain uh, so to accumulate power to um, to strengthen their oppression at home uh, to do all this horrible stuff all this ho horrible stuff they manipulate Western societies they they trick other countries into thinking they have something to offer they do not and I think time will show that Putin and the dictators like him have no place in the future of humanity uh, so this was my emotional video uh, stand for peace in Ukraine stand for Ukraine and I hope for the best. Peace for Ukraine and freedom to Russia.